to the last. The race course fence in the Dooley Insurance Group Cross Country Chase. Blue Templar is showing them the way to the final fence from Balnacilla, Josie's Orders and Bally Casey coming towards the last and it is Blue Templar with Josie's order still giving it a go Ballinacilla is on the outside inside the final 200 yards and it's Blue Templar and Raymond Barron this is one week he will never forget as Blue Templar to the last the race course fence in the Dooley Insurance Group cross country chase Blue Templar is showing them the way to the final fence from Ballinacilla, Josie's orders and Bally Casey coming towards the last and it is Blue Templar with Josie's order still giving it a go Ballinacilla is on the outside inside the final 200 yards and it's Blue Templar and Raymond Barron this is one week he will never forget as Blue Templar beats stable companion Josie's orders with in third place Ballinacilla well clear of the only other finisher Bally Casey is Blue Templar Has them at it at the final fence, cloudy morning over, and is drawing away from Regal on court, a bad mistake by Wounded Warrior. But it is cloudy morning and Sean O'Keefe for rising trainer Declan Queeley, as cloudy morning has won by a wide margin, and is drawing away from Regal on court, a bad mistake by Wounded Warrior. But it is cloudy morning and Sean O'Keefe for rising trainer Declan Queeley as Cloudy Morning has won by a wide margin the marathon Boy Sports Handicap Chase from Regal Encore Wounded Warrior Manila Awards Some Nick Shemaleuk Monlino Measure of My Dreams and last over the line of those to get round was Getaway Kid Annie Parmere's champion hurdle and it's Stormy Ireland with Betty Deja pushed up on the outside to try and get on terms. They're well clear from Good Time Tara. Down to the final flight and it's Benny Deja taking over from her nearest rival in the market in the, in the race itself. Benny Deja is over and lengthening away from Stormy Ireland then Good Time Tara and racing up towards the finish. Benny Deja swiftly bounds back from Cheltenham and it's another Annie Parr, Mayor's champion for Willie Mullins and the Richies. Annie Parr, Mayor's champion hurdle, and it's Stormy Ireland with Betty Deja pushed up on the outside to try and get on terms. They're well clear from Good Time Tara. Down to the final flight, and it's Betty Deja taking over from her nearest rival in the market in the, in the race itself. Betty Deja is over and lengthening away from Stormy Ireland, then Good Time Tara, and racing up towards the finish. Benny Deja swiftly bounds back from Cheltenham, and it's another Annie Parr, Mayor's champion for Willie Mullins and the Richies, as Benny Deja and Paul Town and have won by over eight lengths. Stormy Ireland second, third is Good Time Tara, And then way back home, who's moved off the rail, and then French May, they're clear from Cocoa Beach as they race down towards the final flight. Fakir Duderi, the white cap, from on the outside, Fusil Raffles up the rail is French Maid, and back in fourth place is way back home. Fusil Raffles on the near side gets to Fakir Duderi as they jump the final flight. French Maid is in third, and it's Fusil Raffles getting the better of Fakir Duderi as they run up to the finish in the AS champion four year old hurdle. It's been two brilliant last days for Nicky Henderson. And then way back home, who's moved off the rail, and then French May, they're clear from Coco Beach as they race down towards the final flight. Fakir Duderi, the white cap, from on the outside, Fusil Raffles up the rail is French made, and back in fourth place is way back home. Fusil Raffles on the near side gets to Fakir Duderi as they jump the final flight. French made is in third, and it's Fusil Raffles getting the better of Fakir Duderi as they run up to the finish in the AS champion four year old hurdle. It's been two brilliant last days for Nicky Henderson, Fusil Raffles, and Darren Jacob score from Fakir Duderi. French made way back home, a long way clear from Cocoa Beach. From Full Cry, one for the road, Tom de Grey on the outside of Swing Bridge, then Heron Heights, and being eased as Bellomo, mightn't finish as they come towards the second last. 
Young Paddy Mac, uh, Young Paddy Mac's a faller, and that opens the gate now. Heron Heights is on the left, full cry in the centre, one for the road, Tom on the stand side, then Swing Bridge, all changed at the final fence in the Pat Taff, and it's one for the road, Tom, who gave the advantage to Heron Heights after a mistake, and up to the finish, Lightning is going to strike twice for Heron Heights and the Pat Taff. Second is one for the road, Tom from full cry. One for the road, Tom de Grey on the outside of Swing Bridge, then Heron Heights. And being aged as Bello Moe, might and finish as they come towards the second last. Young Paddy Mac, uh, Young Paddy Mac's a faller, and that opens the gate now. Heron Heights is on the left, full cry in the centre. One for the road, Tom on the stand side, then Swing Bridge, all changed at the final fence in the Pat Taff. And it's one for the road, Tom, who gave the advantage to Heron Heights after a mistake. And up to the finish, Lightning is going to strike twice for Heron Heights and the Pat Taff. Second is one for the road, Tom. Swing Bridges, third full cry for Bellamone will finish. Five finishers. As Contingency and Connor McNamara make their bid for home and they've headed take revenge, Mr. Adjudicator, the top weight being produced by Patrick Mullins and then David's charm, Doris Biergi and Stratum at the final flight in the Ballymore and over together the stable companions, Contingency with on the outside, Mr. Adjudicator and Doris Biergi with a wet sail, Contingency with Mr. Adjudicator getting up for the freshly crowned champions, Patrick as Contingency and Conor McNamara make their bid for home and they've headed take revenge. Mr. Adjudicator, the top weight being produced by Patrick Mullins and then David's charm, Doris Biergi and Stratum at the final flight in the Ballymore and over together the stable companions Contingency with on the outside Mr. Adjudicator and Doris Biergi with a wet sail. Contingency with Mr. Adjudicator getting up for the freshly crowned champions Patrick and Willie Mullins contingency second and Doris Biergi stratum a sweep of the floor for Willie Mullins with the top four off the final bend and it is tactical move trying to deliver a challenge to Rocket Lad who has the advantage with a furling and a half to go. Belper Rose is next, Ardown is staying on well then battling Warrior and Gladiatorial racing to the final furlong and it's Rocket Lad and Root Dudfield trying to shrug off Ardown and tactical move in between horses. Ardown and Lisa O'Neill have come through to win a close home from tactical move in third off the final bend and it is tactical move trying to deliver a challenge to Rocket Lad who has the advantage with a furling and a half to go. Belper Rose is next, Ardown is staying on well then battling Warrior and Gladiatorial racing to the final furlong and it's Rocket Lad and Root Dudfield trying to shrug off Ardown and tactical move in between horses. Ardown and Lisa O'Neill have come through to win a close home from tactical move in third Rocket Lad clear from Belper Rose and Schneegarushka, who's followed in by Battling Warrior and then Siberian Star and Rock on Rock All. Then Trendsetter, they're being followed on straightening up by Lean and Keane, Archibald Thurburn down the outside is flat to the max and then Banjo as Man of Mine goes for home, followed by Lean and Keane flat to the max down the outside of Castle Lines and Banjo, it's Man of Mine and Kate Kelly flat to the max is staying on very strongly in second place for Redmond Barry and up to the finish it is Man of Mine and Kate Kelly going to stay in front and be flat to the max, Thermistically's third, then Trendsetter they're being followed on straightening up by Lean and Keane, Archibald Thurburn down the outside is flat to the max and then Banjo as Man of Mine goes for home, followed by Lean and Keane, flat to the max down the outside of Castle Lines and Banjo, it's Man of Mine and Kate Kelly, flat to the max is staying on, very strongly in second place for Redmond Barry and up to the finish, it is Man of Mine and
and Kate Kelly going to stay in front and bait flat to the max. Thermistically's third and then Lane and Kane, Banjo, Castelline, Scaping, Mad Jack, Mitten and Shakespeare's Galley and they're followed in by Papers Ruby. Don't forget, have the conversation, say yes to organ donation.